I get asked all the time, where should I invest in Charleston? People ask me this question, and the truth is it depends on your situation. But there's three places that stand out to me as high growth areas that every serious investor should consider. The first is Monk's Corner. Out in Monk's Corner, it's kind of a sleepy town right now, but land is cheap, development costs are low, and it's a great place to look at if you're looking to do a subdivision or to do small multifamily or to locate uh, industrial property with a growing population. Uh, DR Horton, Crescent Homes, these other communities have started to pop up in that area. It's a great place to invest. It's also very affordable. So workers coming in, average price point is around $360,000 per house. So well within the range of most people who are looking to invest, but also live. Goose Creek is another place. I met the mayor of Goose Creek last year. He's an awesome guy. He said, Paul, we really need more industry here. He said, bring your warehouses, bring your retail businesses. We're revamping the downtown area. It's gonna be a completely different town in the next five years. So Goose Creek is an incredible place. They are encouraging people to come in. It's a little bit out of the central location of Charleston, but it is very well connected with Red Bank Road and, and uh, Highway 78, relatively close to I-26. The third is Somerville, which has experienced an explosive growth over the past five years. Somerville used to be the sleepy community people would go to from Charleston in the summertime. Uh, they would stay there. Now it's a completely different community. They are building mega developments out that way. One of the developments called Nexton actually won the best development in America with the way that it was designed. And Somerville also has a lot of manufacturing plants and a lot of logistics industry. So Somerville is a great place to invest. It's a growing place. There's plenty of land to build and it's been of high interest to a lot of developers over the past couple of years. Each one of these towns has potential for high growth in the future. If you'd like to discuss more on the specific areas and the best places to, to follow your strategy, please give me a call.